Now, it's an exciting time to be in the online business world here in China. With more Chinese than ever before using the Internet, many companies are shifting more of their advertising budget from traditional media to the Internet. In today's BON Featured, Sylvia Gunawan takes a look at China's booming online advertising sector. Robert Chang is the CEO for a travel website company, and he's one of a number of businessmen and women who are optimistic about China's online advertising industry. According to market research firm BDA, online advertising is the fastest growing advertising sector in China. Internet ad spending in 2009 reportedly rose to $3 billion, up 18 percent from last year. China already boasts the world's largest online population, with an estimated 360 million Internet users. But that's only about 27 percent of the whole population. In a countryside, when people get access to the Internet and found the attractiveness of Internet, so there will be many, many more users. So that is uh, a reason why the online advertising in China is still booming. Compared to the U.S., which spent about $23 billion in online advertising last year, the Chinese market is still in its infancy. But the industry is on a fast growth track, unlike the U.S., which saw a 4 percent decline in online advertising. Fueled by a rapidly expanding Internet user base, the growing influence of online media in China and the cost advantage of online ads, the industry is expected to grow at a rate of 20 percent next year. China has become one of the fastest growing Internet markets in the world. As Internet penetration grows rapidly, traditional media for advertising, such as that billboard behind me, are slowly losing market share, but most importantly, losing their appeal to those who are embracing new media. Chinese net users are predominantly young, with about 46 percent age 24 or under, and they spend more time glued to their computer screens than their counterparts elsewhere in the world. A survey of 16 countries conducted by TNS Research Group shows the Chinese spend more of their leisure time online than any other group. And the average time spent online has almost doubled from eight and a half hours a week in 2001 to about 16 hours a week last year. That's even higher than the 15 hours a week the average American spends online. The lifestyle of Chinese netizens changed a lot. They cannot live without Internet. With the advertising industry on the rocks elsewhere in the world, many companies are seeing the huge potential market here in China, which is becoming increasingly competitive. Well, it's becoming more and more fierce. Uh, although on, in China, the online advertising is a new cake, it's a big cake. But, you know, the many American, many Western 4A companies penetrating into the Chinese market. But they cannot eat everything. They still has a big opportunity. But analysts say traditional media will still continue to dominate the overall advertising market. Mainstream media organizations such as state-run national broadcasters, CCTV, and the government's official Xinhua News Agency continue to hold a significant market share. Last month, CCTV's 2010 primetime advertising auction secured bids worth a total of $1.6 billion, up about 18 percent from last year. But as a result of economic pressures, many companies have become more cost-conscious. A price comparison between CCTV and China's biggest online portal, Sina.com, shows that online advertising proves to be much more cost-effective. And aside from lower prices, advertisers are also attracted by the fact that the results can be conveniently measured. They can have a digital return of investment. And they can, you know, easily evaluate the advertising event from the data. So the advertiser, you know, they can easily adjust their strategy. So with lower prices, better measurement systems and a more targeted audience, analysts believe that online advertising will continue to see the most growth in the wider advertising sector as advertisers cut back on their spending. Sylvia Gudawan, BON. Well, Hala, of course, the Olympics really giving a boost to the online advertising industry here in China. In the first three quarters, in fact, of 2008, the companies involved, like, like Baidu, Sina, Sohu and Tencent, made increases of between 60 and 120 percent, roughly, on the same period in, in, in 2007. However, all those good times, to a certain extent, came to a bit of an end after the Olympics. There was that sort of, you know, post-Olympic hangover. And, of course, the, the, the onset of the financial crisis all around the world didn't help.
But interestingly enough, Fergus, um, the, the global economic downturn had a positive effect on the sector because it forced companies to look into cheaper ways of advertising their products, into non-traditional methods of advertising. So the online advertising sector obviously picking up a lot of business there from the, the, the shift in resources. Sure. And still a, a lot of room to grow. Um, according to BDA reporting, they say advertising spending as a percentage of GDP in China is only about a quarter, 0.5%, while in the US it's 2%. It's so only about a quarter here, so a lot of room for that business to grow. Absolutely. Well, stay with us. BON News continues with Straight from the Street, coming up next.